Welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, with me, Matthew Caddis, a.k.a. Boogie. So, we are stuck here on Keel Hall Key, and indeed, now we have to explore the jungle in order to find uh, Bulberry. Um, supposedly save him from a dire predicament. So, indeed, let's go in here, and the first enemy we will face are some fuzzies. Again, nothing too bad, as long as we keep Koops in the party. So yeah, because his power shell will definitely come in handy here. So indeed, let's do that. There we go! Yeah, Koops is still handy even at this late stage in the game. So yeah, and uh, maybe I should have used the Zap Tap Badge. That is also very effective. And yes, it is available in this game. What's this give us the head rattle match? And I'm not sure if I'll be using that or not. Let's see. Let's have a look at our badges actually. I do want to keep the uh, power thing, so head rattle. Um, okay, so it's just a, it's a hammer move. I'm not sure if it's one I want to use or not. So yeah, I want to keep the happy heart, definitely. Uh, do I have zap tap? I don't know. Quake hammer may still be useful. Um, for now at least. Uh, chill out, maybe. So no. Uh, spike shield, I don't think there are any spike enemies on Keelhole Key, but I could be wrong there. So uh, with that said, let's go on and we get another one there. And that was a fairly easy one. Um, so let's see, there's a, a fair few more enemies on Keelhole Key besides that. Let's see then, uh, nothing there. Um, Coin? And we got. No, I'm not riding Yushter, am I? No, of course not. Did I get that? Well, I think I did get. Oh, no, no, there I go, and I get a courage shell. Um, so I go back to the um, inn. I don't know. Let's see. How is Mario's HP? And it costs you 10 coins to sleep there. And I'm just wasting, so I know I, I, so now I only have six left, so yeah. So with that, let's actually go out. Um, yeah. A little bit gloomy, but there we go. So let's go back here, and I'm going to try and avoid the, or if I do get into any more battles with us, um, Fuzzies, then that will be too bad. Okay, so deeper into the jungle, and we get some more platforms and a new piranha plant enemy. So yeah, likewise with before. Maybe I should have actually equipped the spike shield because of the uh, thing. And these, I believe, are putrid piranhas. Let's see. Yeah, they like using poison against you. They are also accompanied by a jungle fuzzy, which does a bit more damage than the regular fuzzies, so now I want to definitely knock him out. It's a good thing I did switch to Koop in my party. But yeah, they didn't poison me that time. Uh, as for the jungle fuzzies, they like to suck your blood, just like before, although they also like to suck out your FP, so yeah, they don't suck out your health, um, also your FP. So, um, do I want to use a super hammer? No, but I do want to jump on. Maybe I do want to use a quick hammer work. Let's see. Well, yeah, they're both on, both on the ground, so I think they would. And the fuzzy's done, so now I'll just use a regular shell toss with hoops, and hopefully that'll do it. There we go! And with that done, we can go on. We can actually get a fair amount of uh, star points here as well. Uh, so, let's see. Um, okay, how does that miss? I run into another uh, Beauty Piranha here. There's actually three of them here. I think I leave this in because it does show off the... Um, um, poison, I guess, of the Beauty Piranhas. So, yeah. Apparently, Poonies fear water. And you. So let's uh, do that. There we go. And still not enough. Well, um, yeah. They do also attack a lot quicker than some of the other piranhas. 
If it's not chomping, that means they're going to uh, inflict you with poison. So yeah. And that is very annoying indeed. Yeah. I may well have to use a... Um, somewhat of an ability would be a start here. I don't know. But there we go. One down! And why am I not using power shell? I don't know. How much um, FP do I have here? Three. So I could have easily used it. I'm guessing I don't want to overuse it here. In case the putrid piranhas actually do take me down. Which is a strong possibility here. Seriously. There we go. I probably will need to either go back to the sea shanty and do that or something like that. Not yet. So we will need Yushta here because of the um, narrow gap here because of that. So, yeah. Not on the first one, but on the second one, yeah, I think we will. So I'm going to go try and find the jungle fuzzy first. And here I think we will need Yushta. Uh, although, uh, how do we get across? Well, there's a little clue in the shadow against the wall. And no, it is not using uh, Flurry, it is actually using um, uh, Yushta. There's nothing hidden in the wall. Nope. So what we have to do is actually jump on top of that middle block there. Um, and do that. So, yeah. So let's wander around because I didn't know what to do at this point. There's also a um, breakable block over there. I believe there's an item on top of it as well. And a hidden star piece. I did not know that was there. So let's go through um, over here. Uh, first jump should be fine. First few jumps should be fine. So yeah, so... Uh, yes. Um, if only to figure out how to get across. You can see there, there uh, is an outline of a box. And yes, uh, we have to jump on that middle block. I don't know why I am. I keep doing this, but never mind. I'm, I'm going to go over that box there. So... And I'm going to get the sleep. Oh, yes we can, so I don't want to break that box in case... Never mind. It was like I didn't have to break it because it stopped itself. So, to the other side then, and um, indeed, um, one with Yushta there. And one more go, and there we go, very nice. Now, we can see over there is a... Um, Shine Sprite! Yes, a Shine Sprite. So I don't want to use Coops again to get it. No, no, I want to go over here and use uh, Yushta to get it. So indeed, let's do that. So, get on Yushta's back. Why am I trying to float jump over a small gap that Mario can easily jump over? I don't know, but there you go, so... Seriously. Yeah, Yushta cannot get over there. There. So, uh, go to the left and jump. There we go. And then position and put them. Whatever. I don't want to fall off that box either. Um, so, um, now to get this box, I want to be careful to position. I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying there. Seriously. Not even hitting the wall. That's what you're supposed to do to get to that box. And yes, I do want to, although um, we do not yet have our next party member. And um, anyone following the story, it, it's fairly obvious who he's going to be. So let's go on his back and trim over and get the shine sprite. And then let's get. Okay, we can't break the block by ground pounding. Fair enough, so just uh, trim. NOWHERE! And yes, um, I'm going the long way around, aren't I? <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's go over this way and see if we can find a blobbery off to the right. Because there is a bridge off to the right there. But it, it is immediately obvious, but yes, it is off to the right there. So I'll jump up and go this way and let's get... Um, Thunder Edge, yes. There we go. Down we go. 
Let's head right and. Piss Gus! Oh boy! Did I do something about these things? Yeah. He's been through worse. Really? Uh, he's been through a lot of, um, of seafaring adventures than you have. Okay. Why can't we fight these ghosts then? Here with you. Okay, so we now have to take care of Crumb, though, do we? Oh boy. Uh, well, it's like they're ba bashing him. You're not being cowardly! He told you to leave! Stop being such a drama queen! We'll save him! Mario will think you're crump, but yeah, um, we do. And he's pulling a thing. I don't think we can. Seriously. After all, Mario can't speak. No, that's called breaking the fourth wall, Yushka. A very common thing with um, any form of media. So, uh, I'm guessing I am going to have to save. And on the next episode, we will save Bobbery. So, until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!